Okay. So after roughly an hour of fiddling, I think I'm finally ready to record. I'm starting to realize my computer, as good as it may be for just playing stuff, not super good for streaming. Or not streaming, uh, recording, I should say. Streaming could be an issue too, but uh, whatever. So, in case you couldn't tell, PC build for Ghost Recon Shit. Breakpoint. My soldiers. This is just about the beginning. Not too far in. I just had to replay some of it because there was an unfortunate uh, issue with losing connection to a server even though I'm playing a uh, single player. So, you know, that kind of stuff. So basically what you missed was uh, helicopter goes down, pretty much everyone's dead, you know, pretty typical. I should be taking the piss out of the game as much as I am, honestly. <laughs> so um, like I mentioned, this is the closed beta build. I'm not sure if it's uh, much different from, um, there was one uh, test build before this. I'm not sure if this is any different from that. I forget specifically what they called that. But yeah, I was lucky to get in. I sent an email, got registered, hoping they'd accept me. They did. I probably would have Try to push for console if I could, since that might be end up what I'm buying it on, just because I got friends who'll play it on there. Oh wait, I never equipped that weapon, right? Oh, that's actually a different rifle than I got the first time. That's kind of interesting. That might be randomized. That first weapon. Okay, I thought they might have been coming this way. It's huge! It's huge! It's huge. I apologize if the frame rate's not super good. I had a down res, fiddle with some settings on OBS. I'm hoping it stays to at least a consistent 30 or higher. It was getting really choppy before that. Alright, this should be easy enough. First time I tried to record this, when I realized, oh god, this is awful. It's like three frames a second, and various other issues like the connection issue. <laughs> um, I mentioned I was pretty excited for this game actually, and it's looking pretty cool. Um, I did like Wildlands in theory; it was a little too arcadey for my taste. Uh, even felt a little bit like a 360 game. <laughs> Just in terms of like general feel and just mechanics even. This one seems a little grittier and uh, I don't know. Just arcadey would be the way I would describe Wildlands. So this is less of that. Got four. It's huge. Hey, someone told me they test something new out here. Yeah, something really big, okay. really secret. I actually don't even remember what I got in the last chest. Now I think about it. <laughs> okay, 
Oh, I'm getting gear. Right, I forgot that there was stuff like that. Uh, I think these are cosmetic. And this is stat-based. <laughs> oh, lordy. <laughs> Just with the beard. I love how that looks. There's body parts everywhere. I saw an arm. By itself, an arm. Survivors, my ass. Who could have survived that? Just keep looking. Our job is to find anyone who might have survived. <laughs> this place is huge. Okay, I should be able to silently take out these two and then get those two. No sign of survivors. How nice here. of them to split up. I don't know if helmets actually do anything, but I figure better safe than sorry. That guy looks like he might have armor? Or is that a balaclava? I actually can't tell. Oh, balaclava. Okay. Easy enough. Okay. Uh, might as well look at this. Yo. I did see some like tool tips about this. So medic, sniper. I would assume assault rifle, but it's breaking an assault rifle, so <laughs> I don't really know. And then guessing close quarters, stealth. Okay. Gas grenade? Actually, for single-player play, this might actually be nice. Yeah. I may not normally do... Uh, oh, come on. Yes, please. There we go. It's probably what I wouldn't normally pick, but single-player seems like a good fit for that. And then early unlocks include parachute XP bonus. Wow. Huh. I'll do a quick look over this just in case anyone watching this might be curious. Uh, reload speed and damage. Wow, 20% damage increase on a handgun. That seems significant. I wonder if you need to find these, so then you need to have like a higher upgrade on your gunsmith to be able to use them, or if it just instantly gives you access to a new set of upgrades and customization. Not sure. Okay, then specific kinds of recon, drones. Okay, this is looking a little Wildlands, but um, I honestly didn't like the skills in Wildlands too much. A lot of it was too insignificant for my taste. So, from the looks of it, we all get the same skill tree. Then we can just go wherever we want to from there. Okay. That about covers it. Stealth, gadgets, assault, survival. Economy? Hmm. Tactics, sniper. Yeah, okay. And it looks like everything does have a gear score. So a little bit more looter shooter. Or rather, it is looter shooter, whereas Wildlands was not. Okay, that does work properly. Normally they let you do like um, five, six, seven, eight uh, num keys for choosing items, but I actually mapped it to uh, scrolling down on the mouse wheel. Really glad that works out. That makes it a lot easier. Then scrolling up, we'll do weapons. 
They do give you a lot of freedom with customization in the menus. Or, um, more than typical, anyway. Some of you have got to be alive. Okay. So what I've noticed for healing is you'll always have bandages for healing. And it's a very slow but sure heal. Cloud, Syringes one, one. are this for quick Weaver. healing. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. Anything? We got. Contact. Contact. Oh, something was spotting me. Lovely. Well, I'm going to assume I just want a GTFO. All right, so it's not a matter of just, like, hitting all headshots, I imagine. Even though it still might be. Made it very apparent that gear score was too high here. Maybe just for those dudes, though, since they were like the anti ghosts. And one thing I did notice is that uh, loot automatically picks up as long as you have space. It's very nice. Couldn't imagine how tedious it would be to be tapping E on literally everything. Is that not the G key? I'm gonna test this out real quick. Okay, so you have to hold G. That's kind of awkward. But then if you <laughs> press right click, it puts it away, of course. Well, it's silent. Whoa. The range on that is a lot bigger than I would have thought. I wonder if it's temporary spotting. No, it seems like it's permanent. Alright. I'm not sure if I have to deal with those two, but maybe I should. Just in case something does break out. They could pose a pretty significant issue. Is he armored? I can't tell. It might just be a cloak. Oh, there's dudes here. Just smoked a ghost. First kill of the day. These guys eat shit. I don't know what everyone's worried about. You just better right, hope shimmy and kill so. them all. Last thing you want on this island is a pissed off ghost. I was tracking my crosshair for a moment. This place is huge. see the second guy oh there he is I thought he was closer Might be taking this a little too seriously, but it should be pretty safe going ahead now. I'll be got 
Seems a little too easy. They're very slow to react, but those are the low-level grunts, I imagine. Oh, there's independent ranks for each class as well, I see. Nice, you can actually pin challenges. Okay, so I got level 2 for whatever I did. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention if it showed up at all. But I did it. So I need to get my hands on a sniper, DMR, kill enemies while using armor buster. Am I able to look at rewards for that? Yeah, at least a couple ahead. I imagine they probably cap you off at 4 for the uh, beta test. And only specific things actually fill the gauge. Oh. Or maybe these just fill more, so. So, Z while using a sniper or DMR. Won't even work in assault rifles. Okay, so I shouldn't even bother on my AR. Oh, I found a pistol. Cool. So, let's see. Is there any way to go into gunsmith? Or maybe that's not unlocked yet. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. It makes sense. Just grab this in case something happens on that. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of people over there. Oh, that's a train. Yo. That looks cool. Huh. Oh, edit in gunsmith. I see, you just need weapon parts, and you're able to apply these upgrades. Doesn't seem to be any reason not to do that. Minus 20% damage with a suppressor. Okay, that is relatively significant. Let's see, high zoom, red dot, long range. That sounds nice, I'll keep that. Okay. And I don't really want to bog this down with too much uh, tedium. So I'll roll with that. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out.
Wait. <laughs> uh, there was a visual glitch for just a moment. Okay. At least it wasn't consistent. Oh, I thought those were all people. It's just motorcycles. Hmm. Oh, here's that prone camo? Hold on. Maybe I have to do it. Uh, it's not working. Oh, it worked that time. Weird. Interesting. All right, now I just look like a lake monster. <laughs> Wonder if there's any chance in doing this silently with the DMR. I mean, honestly, I could probably just leave them alone. Oh, there's bodies over there. I probably don't want to do that. Took them a long time to acquire, so <laughs> nice and easy. Essentially target practice. Okay. Uh, where were skills? Here? Yeah. So reload speed and mobility. Oh, right. Ghost War was PvP, wasn't it? Right. Well, I'm a sucker for stuff like this. The earlier I get this, the better. Oh, do I still have a skill point? Oh. I didn't even realize I got one. Alright, let's get that. Then... Might take a look as to where I can uh, equip skills. Oh, no, that's people. Let's see. Oh, just like that. Okay, nice and easy. Oh, whoops. Eh. There we go. Okay. Let's nab some loot real quick. Oh, you need to have free hands to pick stuff up. Interesting. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about that. My dog is looking real cute right now. So, helmet's gone. I mean,. I still have the stats, I imagine. Close beta. All that nonsense. I'm sure there'll be a day one patch. Past anything they might uh, be working on till that point, anyway. Something I mentioned in my botched recording is um, anything you see that you might be a little uncertain about. It's usually a pretty good idea to just uh, wait for post-release reviews. That'll usually uh, help you realize what the finished state's going to be like, uh, especially regarding that connectivity issue I had earlier. Never know if that's going to end up in release. Not saying it will be, of course, but... Um, you know, day of launch, you can expect some kind of server overload, and not sure if there's any kind of fully offline options. 
All I know is no one was in my game and it still kicked me out for uh, some kind of server side issue. Let's try this uh, armor piercing perk thing. <laughs> oh, that was rough. <laughs> uh, just in front of him. Grazed a nipple, I'm sure. Alright. So I think my perk's gone now. Or the uh, ability. I'm wondering if that's... Like, you just load one mag, so replacing that mag got rid of it. Or if it's time-based. I'll have to pay more attention next time I use it. Stamina bar. Ooh. Might be get a car time. I normally like just running everywhere, but especially with stamina being a thing to worry about. Alright. Well, we'll see what the driving controls are like on PC. Stutter. Wondering what that's about. Weird. Okay, I wonder if I can set a waypoint. Yep. And just to get a look. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Just follow the main road for a prologue. Not too much meandering involved. They wouldn't want to make the primary objective off like three side roads. I'm wondering how quick they'll be able to make me when I'm uh, in this car. It's not like in Wildlands where there's civilians driving everywhere. Maybe <laughs> we'll have some fun. Uh, what was seat change? Alright, can't jump in the back from here. <laughs> this should be fun. I think. There we go. No, oh, that'll do. But yeah. Especially with the cars and that sequence in particular. Uh, let me just see if I can drive over these. I doubt this would work, but you never know. Okay. Yeah, especially with that uh, little sequence right there. Definitely feels like a Wildland sequel. But you know, it's still fine. I liked Wildlands, but um, didn't really draw me in as much as I was hoping it would. But 
But as I mentioned, the general theme is definitely a step in the right direction regarding this game. Saw a chest there. I'm wondering how easy it would be to get up there. Oh yeah, not bad. The map is gone now though. I'm wondering what that's about. How can I get that back? Oh, tab will do it. Okay. Okay. Seems like there might be something underground here, so... Oh, yeah, exactly what it is. I won't worry about it. Oh, I'm gonna take a look. How far am I in this? 7 of 15? Cool. I thought I pinned that too. I'm not seeing it. I might have accidentally unpinned it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Game gets a little weird if you tap escape too many times. Okay. I do like a tracker. That's nice. Sneaky. Well, I picked up plants. Oh, that is nice how the plants disappear when aiming. Sometimes too much realism is a little much. Alright. 12 year old me was just like, oh, there's totally some pot there, bro. <laughs> Don't know why I had to feel so compelled to go over and look at him. Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. Another one? You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. Fuck no, you, Erewhon. Won't do what you told the me. Cave. That's what we call it. Get in. this place oh I guess there's a hub area yeah these looks like uh, players unless there's um, the next ghost well I guess we still would be ghosts named noob kid so I'm guessing they're not moving in real time they just have avatars uh, posted up to represent certain players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's still an interesting way to do it. Actually, this guy... Yeah, that guy's moving. <laughs> it's kind of like a Destiny-esque little hub world. It could be nice. Sometimes when you're wanting to group up with someone, it's nice to actually just walk up to them and group up. I got whatever you're looking for. Okay. So this is where I would spend that currency. This looks like the exact same... Yeah. So that's the exact same gun that I have. 
Is that different mods, though? Stats seem pretty drastically different. Weird. 1911. Oh, yeah. I'll probably want this, I think. Sniper shotgun sounds like fun. I don't have enough to get both, but... Um, ooh. Semi-auto. MK14 actually sounds nice, too. I'll go ahead and get the M M82. I think that should be pretty fun. On demand. What's this mean? Almost looks like a blueprint. On demand. Nine of thirteen. Nine thirteen? Like September thirteenth? Is it just like you put in an order and then it comes in next week? <laughs> I don't know. I can't necessarily ascertain if that's the case. Oh, you can buy specific attachments as well. Well, it's good this stuff's available for sale with just standard currency. At least at the moment. Uh, who knows? Everything's still subject to change, for better or worse. But I don't think they would change this. Camo. Emblems. Emotes as well. Wow. Oh, these are actually meant to... Signify. Oh! I noticed there was a roleplay option for matchmaking. If you really wanted to roleplay, you could learn these emotes. That's really nice. I like that. So, you can point out that the enemy has assault rifles if they're... Pretty just bare bone pistols, shotgunners, signal flanks, snipers. Oh, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Like, honestly, if I never use it, I'm still just happy that it's in the game. Okay, so just my loadout. So I imagine it would make more sense to do assault rifle sniper as opposed to DMR sniper. If my DMR was semi-automatic, I can imagine keeping that. Okay, so I'm guessing 160 is damage. So that is more than twice the amount of damage. 130 being a rate of fire. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then 4.6 is uh, reload speed. 5 is mag size, also shows ammo type. Okay. So, even though gear score value is lower, still better value in the sense that... Uh, actually, in a lot of senses. Higher fire rate, higher damage. Low mag size, though, with low reload speed as well. Yeah, I'm not sure if that ammo might be difficult to find. I imagine 7.62s everywhere. But I don't know if that would be an issue. <laughs> Sorry for any background noise. I usually like to record at uh, quieter times of the day, but. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. I had to mute my mic for a moment. As I mentioned, I normally like to record when it's a little quieter, but uh, I did want to record this a little sooner rather than later since the beta just came out. No man, how are you? Missing the comforts of home? Otherwise, not bad. Don't let those comforts control you. Listen, 
I've been tied up with some personal business, so I was hoping you would do me a favor. Sure. What's up? Rumor has it some old dog tags turned up just west of Howard Port. The fellow who discovered them said he found them on a skeleton out in the woods by a bombed-out old jeep. He didn't want to disturb the remains out of respect. Thing is, I think they belong to a Cold War buddy of mine. Cal was a good soldier and an even better friend. He saved my life half a dozen times. Sad we lost touch over the years and... Well, I'd just really like to know what happened. Yeah, I get it. We've both buried our share of friends. I'll check it out. I suggest searching just north of Groves Pond. Shouldn't be too tough to find. It's near Gordon Slough over in the Sinking Country province. I'm on it. You heard from Samuel? Not since last week. I'm sure everything's fine. Oh, I just fine. thought. Can last I suppress time I this? I saw me was stomping through here like a goddamn hurricane. I can. Okay. I wasn't sure. As strong as it is, I would have fully expected it to not be able to. Uh, something's here. Oh, okay. Objectives. Interesting. Can I zoom out? Uh, doesn't seem like it. So, overarching Operation Greenstone. We've confirmed him as a leader of the wolves, I suppose. <laughs> this is like uh, horizontally inverted, which is really weird on keyboard, especially because vertically it's not. Uh, Ghost War, okay. So I'm guessing I have access to Ghost War now. Maybe not? Nope. Okay. It may not be in the beta. I'm assuming there's rewards for doing it. Oh, maybe you do buy the blueprints. Yeah, so those weapons on demand, maybe those were blueprints. And then you can craft weapons at different gear scores, perhaps. Oh, whoops. I don't want to do that. It's an interesting way to do... Um, collectibles. So it's posing questions, and then the collectibles are the answers. So gives them more meaning. I can dig it. I normally don't get into the story of games like this, but we'll see how this one shapes up. Are you boys all right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? For now, you're dealing with me. I got the horses Who's the in one the in back. charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. 
Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skaltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make, except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, can I see our wounded? Yeah. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? Yeah. And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Yeah. Still no ghost work. I saw that dude over there, so I thought maybe. I probably won't do it. I'm just curious if it's available in the beta at all. You're a little far from home, aren't you? I'm here on work. This is no vacation. You don't look like the typical tourist. In fact, you look like you have a little bit of soldier in you. <laughs> what could make you well, say that? Story? I came here looking for a little peace. Instead, I found the wolves. It sounds like we have a common enemy. What can you tell me about them? I've been doing recon on those pricks for months now. They're different than regular Sentinel. They're more like you. They're highly specialized. They work in small teams, and they're lethal. They got their own off-sites all to themselves. They hardly ever leave. They just train. I'll have to pay them a visit. <laughs> what? You got a death wish? You can't fight them alone. They're too good. You'll need a full team to take them on. Can I count you in? <laughs> like I said, I came here looking for peace. But that doesn't mean I can't tell you where to find a fight. Uh, Let me know when you're ready. You'll need a team, so either bring your own or I'll help you find one. One might say that I might match me for the wolves you. Current offsite, and you can get down to business. Okay. I thought that might have been like some. I'll see you later. Cool. The battlefield key until to blood. the single player, Makes the but it's setting up grow, the right uh, reasoning behind competitive multiplayer. I'm guessing it's just ghost first wolves. I was even considering it might have been like some kind of skirmish or something like that. Ghost first ghost. I wonder if that means that you can set up like a wolf character model. Oh. Might be cool. Hey. How are you, man? Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. You're goddamn right. <sighs> Here. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver. He's 
just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? Yeah, the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Gonna check to see how long this recording is real quick. Just a moment. Uh, okay. Hopefully this mission isn't too time consuming. Oh, okay. They gave me a bunch of stuff. Oh, this is probably just... Yeah. Here, have fun with the... Uh, beta kind of stuff. Just hand everything to me. I can't think of any other reason they'd give me uh, 10 skill points. Hmm. Do they happen to give me currency? I don't know where to check currency. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, lordy. Okay. <laughs> Lucky me. Alright, I think I'll try and get a good handgun, and then maybe I'll try and do sniper shotgun. Probably unnecessary. Okay, so they have one that takes up a perk slot, and then they have one that is just passive. That's kind of nice. Actually, I don't know if I want that. Maybe we'll hold off. So, let's go Sniper Way, since that's the kind of class I'm currently using. That just sounds nice, and thermal's fun. It's like a stacking buff. Increases accuracy and handling for each hit. Interesting, but unless I was using a DMR, I don't think I'd get much use. At the moment, I'm not, so I won't worry about it. Okay, we'll just nab a couple of those, because I don't know how many of those are I'm even going to be able to use. This, like, halfway inverted thing's driving me a little crazy. Four skill points. Okay. So let's see what I'm thinking about using now. So... I may not use that. Probably really help out in medium range. That's why I'm mostly thinking about it. But let's roll with this. I'll try long range sniping. Okay. Oh, that's gnarly. You actually send out little drones that just kill people as soon as you tell them to. That sounds nice. Stamina regen, stamina cost. Well, honestly, I might just do that. Hmm. 
Might have wanted to do night vision, but I won't worry about it right now. Okay, let's go set up a loadout now. Uh, where's the store? There's so many names, I actually can't quite tell. I thought it was... Oh yeah, right here, okay. Why can't I? Do I have to do that mission? No. Uh, all right. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Is he looking at her? <laughs> it looks like he was like looking above her head. <laughs> bang bang! <laughs> now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. Excuse me? If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. Okay. They call Might themselves wolves. Go ahead, just skip Rowan this. Rowan likes picking fights with them. I kind of want to just get to it. I don't want this to drag on too long. to me <laughs> what's the best way to customize my weapons around here well let's see you're probably going to want a new scope a couple of rail attachments some bigger mag huh. when we came out here oh we you can do quick skips survive. in these kinds that's yeah, nice you can sell? i don't have much but you can take a look i'll sell you what i, can. I like the way you think Okay, it what's happening? How do I go up and down? It, it, it was WS, wasn't it? I did it earlier. I can't even go down to goodbye. I'll see you around. You be safe Just out there. Escape yes, now. Huh. Could be a bug. I don't know. Let me try again. Make sure I'm not being stupid. Scroll wheel, arrow keys, W A S D, Q E Z X C, tab, shift control, uh, num keys maybe. Yeah, I think it might be bugged. I don't have a controller bugged in, do I? No, I don't. I'll see you. You be safe. Yes, ma'am. All right, we're gonna roll with what I got. <laughs> Close beta, not finished product. Okay. Let's see if there's a main story mission to do. Where would you find missions? Uh, when I go up here, it shows them. And then I go down there, and it goes away. Oh, because that's where I'm mousing. Oh, I see. Okay. And then B to open. Oh, I did the thing where I pressed escape one too many times, and the game doesn't like it. 
Okay, so let's see if I can just do one main mission, and then we'll call it a session. Obviously, this pacing is fine, oh, pal. just not for Old my enough. purposes. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the and guy that works with the seeing as such, so... might just go ahead and skip through this. Oh, I might watch this, actually. This looks interesting. Look in your eye. You got pick. You know how I can get off. Right. The wasp, huh? Not well, there are a couple of jarheads on board. Well, if that's the case, look. I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some. Abs All right. Okay. Just because I really want that shotgun, I'm going to give this one more try. Uh, I don't have a mouse somewhere, do I? Just thought about that. No, it doesn't seem like it. I thought I saw one for a second. That's just the moths in the background. <sighs> well, to be fair, glitches could be so much worse than that. Imagine just rebooting the game would do it, but it is tedious and something that I would hope get fixed as soon as possible, really. Oh, got its mode was on. Yeah, I was confused. I actually looked at that option and it said it was off since it's off by default. Yeah, let's see. Available intel to find hints on the location of the mission. Okay, so reach Freeport, northeastern part of Smuggler Coves. I mean, it showed me exactly where it was, but I'll go through. Lighthouse visible from afar. So it's basically saying, on the coast, northeast Smuggler Cove, lighthouse visible from afar. So yeah, like there. Didn't it say middle mouse? Oh, left mouse, I guess. Okay. Must have misread. Does it have a rangefinder? Okay. Well, let's hope the flying controls are kind of okay. <laughs> Hoping I don't crash. Alright, we got pitch, throttle. Shift control. I'll just need to remember that I do not have a parachute. Right. So are these like enemy outposts? The smoke? Looks 
think I'll be doing this one at night time. That'll be nice. Hmm. I guess there's turbulence. Maybe as you go up higher. Hopefully you don't get like horrible turbulence even like right above the ground. Looks like if I were to land here, I might have some pretty clear sight lines on the buildings. So I'm going to go just west on the other side of that water here. See if I can land here pretty stealthily. I did want to check to see what the control is for binoculars. Oh, combat and squad. Okay. Zoom with binoculars. Beacon, ping. Hmm. Vision mode? Oh, it was just thermal and not thermal. Maybe it's an actual item that you equip. Oh, rocket launcher. Wow. Reduces fatigue. Interesting. Okay, so there's consumables, and then just, you know, other gear. Well, I don't know. Maybe they'll tutorialize binoculars. Till then, I have my sniper scope. H was focus, yeah? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Oh, I do have my drone. Okay. Maybe... Oh, Z's... Special ability. It's detecting me. Uh oh. So there's just thermal spy planes, I guess. Oh, okay, this is great. Oh, I got some bananas. Good. Honestly, say I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this is going to shit. <laughs> can honestly say I was not ready for that. Oh. Cannot drive through those. At least I didn't fly off the front of my motorcycle. Oh, 
All right, that happened. There's so much tree cover, I didn't even see what was spotting me anyway. Might have just been an unmanned drone. Okay. So... Looks like I don't need to heal. Okay. Seems like you can take a lot more damage in this game, which I do appreciate. I feel like uh, Wildlands, you were a little too squishy. Really forced stealth gameplay. There's just unmanned drones constantly going around. I wonder what happens if you shoot one down. Oh, full time. Whoops. <laughs> oh, you can do that aiming. Cool. <laughs> it is going to take me a while to get used to bullet time in this game. Coming this way. <laughs> Kinda aimed at it sideways. I like that. Okay, it doesn't seem like it. So I guess they'll just have UAV patrols around certain areas. I don't need to do anything here. I might just try and slip past. It's pretty dark, unless those things have like night vision or thermal. Okay. I was hoping that might refer to binoculars. Oh, there is intel right there, though. Hmm. Well, if I fight them, I'll have to fight them, unless I can do it completely stealthily, and I'm not super confident in that. But if I can just reposition, then I can be ready. Oh, just the one dude. I was expecting more. Oh. Well, guess I'm doing that. Oh, please? Ooh, okay. We're good, we're good. I'm really upset that I can't choose anything else. That might be what I want anyway. I do like that gun. Oh! I was thinking of TAC-45 pistol. I guess it's a sniper. Interesting. That's probably better. Well, I'm not proud of this, but I have to say I'm curious. <laughs> Bro, 
protein. This basically did not go remotely, according to plan. But it seems like it wouldn't have worked how I thought it would anyway, since it looks like from there I wouldn't really have sight line in anything. Alright, am I only looking for a boat? Civilians. I just assume most everything was uh, controlled by hostiles. Dad, D don't hurt us, please. All oh, right. Forgot that, like, hurt anyone. sprinting towards Not him with a weapon drawn might you don't make them like nervous. Setters. Well, I worked... I work uh, for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, and I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. Uh, we left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. The swarm. Wait. Is that gonna just, like... Yep. <laughs> Maybe boat's not gonna work then. Submarine it is then. Shit. More bad guys. Oh. Everyone oh, we're fighting. Take cover. Where'd he go? Is he here? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm guessing those are just like randomized loot boxes. So, 416. Oh, for some reason I thought ASR was the brand of gun. It's just assault rifle. Probably don't really have too much of anything to put on here. Uh, 
Oh, it comes with a red dot. That's nice. <laughs> really caught me off guard. All right, change, change die. Oh, that's nice. Even though it's just the two, still appreciated. What the hell was that? Give me a minute. Now I know how Fox felt when I sprinted at him with my gun. My God. Those people. It, it must be a, a, a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. Excuse me, Fox. I'm having is, a hard time focusing here. My guess is nothing could come to <laughs> or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. Uh... I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen. You have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you in the- Sorry about that. I really don't want this to drag on too long. Oh, it looks like that's as far as the main story goes anyway. Oh, binoculars. You have to unlock them. Oh. Alright, so is it an actual item then? It is. Great. Okay. Did I ever get a new pistol? No. Alright, so it wasn't nearly as much action as I was wanting that mission to have. So I might actually just go uh, shoot some stuff up real quick. Oh, that gives defense. I'll take it. I guess the bald supersedes any kind of headgear I can put on. Alright, so let's just see what the binoculars are like. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, hostages. Oh, I'm gonna have to be careful with this. Don't do it. <laughs> it's got a siren. <laughs> I love it. <gasps> oh, God, no. Oh. Why? Why did that happen? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. I'm gonna stab the sand <laughs> for moral support, I guess. You'll really want to move if I fart on you. Oh, he died. Hmm. I, oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Release? Oh, he's over there now. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Not a final product, by the way. Okay, well, I do like that. The fact that uh, they weren't just dead. I could actually uh, heal them up. That was a very eventful minute or so. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can go after something a little hotter. Not variable. Okay, just a six time scope. Hold breath with space, right? 
Am I wrong on that? Could have sworn no space. Well, just deal with it, I guess. Oh, did not see that man. I think I got a new gun. Oh, another DMR. Uh, bolt action? No? Looks semi-auto. Oh, it's green, so... Plus 4% damage to drones. Interesting. Let's see if I can put a short range... Scope on it. Or... Can you remove sights? Doesn't seem like it. Well, it has the red dot on top, so... That's something. I do not want this to drag on for too long. So, um, oh, whoops. I'll probably just head over to uh, that checkpoint or maybe one of these uh, facilities over here. And I'll just do my best to clear it out in a relatively fast manner. Oh, I didn't reload, did I? Oopsie daisy. I hate to do this, but I want to see what button it is to hold breath. I skipped over it. Aim mode, alt? No, that wouldn't be it. Breath control, hold. Uh... So, in the words of that, whatever his name was from Trailer Park Boys, something is indeed fucky. It's like they knew I was aiming at him. It was kind of funny. I do hope that the AI doesn't react to getting aimed at, though. That's one of my least favorite uh, traits in AI. Oh, that's a car! Tear his arm off. <laughs> really wish I could hold my breath in this situation. Oh well. Okay, not that much drop. I don't know what that cover is, but they feel very safe in that spot. Alright, well, this should be easy enough. Ooh, that actually might be fun. Here, let me try that. You have to, you gotta hit them. That first flashbang was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, it's still a video game. Oh 
Okay, no choice in the matter, so I'll take the AUG. Let's actually use this for once. Well, that just flew completely straight. Wow. All right, let's use one right here then. It does not mark civilians. I wonder what the civilians will do if they see me though. climbing that. Not too surprised there. Wait, is that a an automated turret? Seems like it might be. Hmm. Maybe I can take it out of commission real quick. There's a control panel. Hopefully it doesn't react to me walking up to it. That's what I know. Thanks for having my back. At the very least, there should be some fun weapons in this game, that's for sure. Someone's going down, man. I can feel it. It's not choppers being shot down or something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Abort. Abort. Well, that happened, but at least they won't find that body. Oh, you can just press shift to drop it instantly. Oh, that scope doesn't look very good. I can't shoot. I got hit by something real bad. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> That's bad too. Oh, come on. Use gun. Use gun, please. Use gun, please. <laughs> I guess if you get hit really hard, you just have to flinch. Well, that's kind of my intention there. 
can't go full rainbow and just ignore all pain, I suppose. I know you take out your pistol when you're severely damaged, but even then, I wasn't expecting to just flat out be unable to fire back at certain points. Well, I guess that'll do it for this recording. So, I'll probably be playing more of this on my own time, honestly, but I just wanted to get some footage of the closed beta out there. So, thanks for watching if you did, and have a wonderful day.